Welcome to the exciting Ninon show at the moment, which is called Vegas Live with Ninon. But I have a gentleman right next to me <laughs> that I've actually known for quite a long time. David. David La, La, how do I pronounce that? De Alba. De Alba. David De Alba. Now we have been going <laughs> back and forth with emails. And you wanted me to bring my crew to your house. Yes, because... Now, I want to know why, because we don't really do that. You don't do it, but I thought... I have, but, had his, I have had historians from Africa, New York, San Francisco come to my home because I have one of the most beautiful Judy Garland and Oz items in the country. It's a museum worth thousands of dollars. And that's now everything. David's going to make me feel really guilty. Well, but no, I'm not going to feel guilty. No, but you can, you can always come over with her at sea. We're going, yeah, we're going to come and because see. Because gorgeous anyway. But you are so, you look so beautiful. You are, you are really, look at you, dressed up. It looks better than I do. And, and if, I, if I take too long and I, my makeup will crack, <laughs> I, I look like the witch, witch of the West. <laughs> now, what are you doing at the moment okay. in your career? Well, what, what, you well, what, I, what I've been doing lately... Technically, I have been interviewed in documentaries because I'm the only one left from the famous Finocchio Club. Finocchio cast. Club, good Lord and Lord, that does that does go back some time. Yeah, and who I, was in that club? Who well, was? in the club, what we had, you know, the famous Laverne Cummings who passed away, Carol Wallace, DMC, and and the list goes on and on. And I was hired as the uh, Latin American singing highlight of the show. And I was there from 1971 to 1989. Then, of course, the club is closed now because yes. the owners died and all my friends are dead. Well, you've got me as a friend now. Yes, I know. And I, I'm all, last... all my Finocchio club <laughs> kids. I just <laughs> talk to friend. them all the time. I'm talking to the spirits. I say, why have the hell the hell gone? you people left me? I'm like a well, pyramid <laughs> left behind. Well, all I can turn around and say is you should have dealt with a younger group. Yeah. You should have had a younger group in there, and then they'd still all be alive. Yeah, but that, <laughs> you that's that a that problem. Then. I was the youngest then, and they were the older ones. And that's ones. why you're still hanging around here. That's right, you know. <laughs> so, so you how know. long have you been in Vegas? How long? Well, I've been here since 2004, oh. and, and I have done a lot of shows here. Uh, you know, I perform in theaters here. One of the beautiful places I liked is closed now of all things called even, the Annex Theater. Even the theaters are closed. The theater, oh, I said, yeah. thank God my late partner filmed me. So I am all over YouTube oh, for these nice. shows. Oh, so at least I can go and say, oh, oh wow, they brought me some flowers. This lady came from... Are you uh, living by Yeah, <laughs> I, I look, I said, you don't look too bad. It looks rather pretty as Judy. Oh, there we go. But no, it's hard. With all your life and not what you've done and the people you've mixed with, what is one of your most outstanding moments that you think, oh, my goodness, I've reached the epitome of where I really want to be well, and what I like? The most, to me, for you, of was, course you. To me, the most, the most uh, climatic thing was when I got to meet, I was a teenager once or twice <laughs> uh, in Chicago, I got to meet the real Judy Garland. Oh. And, and, I got to see her three times, and the last time she came out after the show dressing, I can still see her in a beautiful cocktail dress with a beige bow, and they had people lined up here and here, and she you, would walk. You must have been quite young then. Yeah, I was about 18. 18 years, I was going to say. So then she says, did, did you like the way I sang? I said, of course I like the way you sang. In those days, I could have brought, I had a, a playbill, I could have brought a, a camera to take a photo once you were a teenager. Well, we didn't before. do that at those it, days, did you know, we? So we I thought, how well. stupid. <laughs> so now I said to her, I did say to her, I am from Cuba and I do impersonations of you every week at the very famous nightclub. How did she take that? She says, do you like me that much? Oh, and I said, of course I do. Then my mother was dressed beautifully in, in front of me. And, and my mother says, will you kiss my son now? I never forget, <laughs> Judy becomes Dorothy Gale of Kansas. And she says to me, how I wish I had a mother like you have. Oh. Now, if you read about Judy's mother, she was not very nice to Judy. 
So I never forgot when she said that about, I wish I had a mother, mother like, like you. Mother. And, and, and that stuck in your mind. In, the, in my mind. I'll then she gave that. me a kiss That's and she beautiful. says, darling, I really would love to come and see you perform, but I have to go on tour tomorrow and I have to go to the hotel and lay down so I can be alert. <laughs> and, and then, why my, did you go into Judy Garland? Why, did, why was that oh, your choice? Yeah, but then, then, then here comes the thing. Eight months later, after that, she passes away in London. Yeah. Now, oh, the reason why I got to Judy, I got to meet a very well-known, I always forget his name, he addressed in Chicago, who said to me, I'd like to make you up for Halloween. I have in mind who you look like. So he, he made me up and he That's says, Judy Garland. you look like Judy. I said, can you sing like Judy? I said, well, nobody can sing like Judy. He says, you know what you can do? <laughs> he says, we'll put her recording on and you sing over her voice like a duet. I said, oh, so I sang over her voice. Yeah. And eventually when I got to work at Finocchio's and other venues, I actually sang with no record, just my arrangements and me. And, and of course, I, I would say to the audience, if I was a real Judy, I wouldn't be here. I would be in the Palladium in London. <laughs> yes, but you were doing what you were doing when you were getting... Yeah. Now, how you must have been like 19, 20 at that time. Uh, 18. 18 it was, still. It still was still a, young, yeah. Yeah, it was a young kid. So yeah. when I got to work at Finocchio, I was in my early 20s. I was a very young kid, you know. So, and so that became your career. So I, that became... Before impersonations, I danced as a boy. But they said, you know, if you dance as a boy, unless you become somebody like Gene Kelly or Fred Stair, it's very difficult to make it. But if you get it right and you look pretty, well, when and I was young, I look pretty. I have pretty hands, pretty eyes. But you're still you pretty. Know, you know, so Isn't he pretty? It, it wasn't hard Come to make it. Yeah, it wasn't hard. I sure brought some recorded applause from Carnegie Hall. <laughs> yeah. So I can play, you know. You so, were in Carnegie Hall? No, 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 but no, she did. Yeah, 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 so we got all the applause from but, Yeah, so yeah, that, that. anyway, so I fit the bill at Finocchio because Mrs. Finocchio, we had a lot of Latin American tours that came from you know okay. Venezuela. So with all this going on, all this happening, so your greatest thing was meeting Judy Garland, and you kind of became a Judy Garland. That's what you kind of yeah. do. I mean, but I, you do impersonate other people. Yeah, as well. I, I did that. I did add Liza after she did cabaret. Oh yeah. But my was my Manette. forte was always my Latin act because I still have an accent. So. Oh really? Yeah, a, a Cuban accent, not a heavy accent, but still it's a little accent. So. A little accent you have. My act. So my. You act, don't have an accent. I got an accent. Yeah, my my act was called by my partner boy chick because I'm a boy doing a chick. chick. So, 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 they, boy chick. so they would say David as boy chick and I would sing gorgeous Latin songs, you know. You know, and because we had a lot of Latin American audiences, they appreciated me singing. And then of course for the American audiences, Mrs. Finocchio said, you better sing in English too so they know you're bilingual. So I would do one in Spanish. He loves, he loves to talk. Yeah, well, yeah. If I don't talk, I'll never see you again. <laughs> you so see me we again. Have to, don't we have worry. To, we have don't worry. To. This has been going on for some time. He's trying to get me to go to his house. I said, I don't really do that. And now eventually I got him to come to my set. To you your know? set. And I love that you're coming to my set. Well, I get it, to see you. He even blends in with the whole thing, everything, with the colors and the whole thing. A friend thing. of mine said, you, you better blend. He said, you blend better bring the right jacket so you'll blend. <laughs> and I said, I don't want to blend. I want to stand you out. Stand out. There yeah. you go. He wants to stand out anyway. So what are you doing now as of as of your career? Are well, you still not, performing yeah, or are you, yeah. what are you doing? Well now I put together a show called An Evening with David De Alba in which I would like to find a little venue here in town. I have in mind where. Where? Well, but you need connections. It's called the Nevada Room. Oh, the Nevada Room. So uh, let's make connections with the Nevada Room. It Anybody out there who knows yeah. the Nevada Room? would be nice, you know, because... Well, you, get, get, you should get to know um, Kelly Clinton. Yeah. Isn't Kelly I, Clinton? I, I, I don't know. I believe she is. Anyway, yeah. but... In, in this show, I talk about my arrival from Cuba, how I became connected with and, Judy. And is there any any other people in the show, or no, is it just one, no. just you? Yeah, me. And then what and I how have, long is the show? The show is about an hour long. I do okay. have videotapes of some of the performers from Finocchio. Come in, that you bring. So, in. so I can bring and say this was so and so. This was, but I do a lot of not so called jokes, but anecdotes. Producer. 
anecdotes, yeah. anecdotes about you know why I got to do you know and I and I sing and I would say okay I'm going to sing for you for a change a cappella I would sing something in Spanish go and sing okay my theme song was I'm gonna live until I die I'm gonna laugh instead of cry I'm gonna take this town and turn it upside down. I'm gonna live, live, live until I die. Quiero vivir, quiero cantar. Quiero vivir, quiero soñar. Quiero vivir, amar, reír, cantar. Quiero vivir, vivir hasta morir. Por eso canto, por eso río. Vivo la vida, vivo feliz. Por eso canto, por eso río. Y digo así, aleluya. I'm gonna live until I die. I'm gonna laugh instead of cry. I'm gonna take this down and turn it upside down. I'm gonna live, 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 live until I die. There we go. We've got a table. <laughs> I didn't even know you had all this talent. You, I knew you had talent, but I mean, you still got the talent. You yeah. can still do it. Yeah, I still the voice is there. there. I yeah. sing one key lower than before, but a key lower that well, I used to sing. Thing. But you know, but okay. what, what do you expect once you are between 40 and death? I mean, uh, from you know, Maine. So you know what I see with entertainers, and it's really, it's very unique with entertainers out there. They never give up. I don't care how old they are. No. They never, especially um, an entertainer that sings, they love to sing, yeah. they like to, but they still maintain that voice. How does that happen? Well, I, I take a lot of, Do you sing every day? Yeah, I sing to myself. You know, I said, I said I'm going to sing to my my dead friends from Finocchio. Then I say to them, it's all the smile, friends. though <laughs> your heart is it's aching. Funny. Smile, oh. even though it's breaking. breaking. When there's a cloud in the sky, you'll get by. I said, why do I have to sing to everybody who's dead? I want to sing to people who are alive too. Well, I'm going you know. to suggest you've got to miss sure. a younger group now. We're yeah, we to make sure he yeah, we had to get, we had to, but the trouble is, I learned, if you get around two young people around you, then you look older. But if you put older well, people I mean, behind you, then you look prettier. Yeah, but you're you know, so, yeah, but so you're you have to be so careful <laughs> who you put behind you. This is why we, I don't know. I gave that up oh, a long time ago. Oh, <laughs> oh but you can pass for one, forty-one. You're gorgeous. Oh, you can hang around all this time. 40. Yeah, I got down to forty-one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! As long as I'm concerned, I could marry you. Yeah. You have to we said yes. You have to teach well, hang on a second. You have to he said yes. What to do? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you what, to do. what to do? Anyway, <laughs> so. but but you never know. Yeah. Well. Anyway. So. That's what you would call a strange marriage, because yeah, um, oh, there's, there's, be there's a lot of strange, strange marriages. marriages but but at least, at least I could make you what up. I could do your hair. You can. I have some beautiful costumes you can wear. So we can we can change clothes, and we can be like sisters. Because sisters, you know, you know what happens. You know, sisters. yeah, bosom buddies. <laughs> because at the end, you know, it, it seems to be that. In the, you know, in the end, it really doesn't matter because when you take your first breath and you take your last breath, it's what you do in between it. And it really doesn't matter because when you, it's like people, you know, they're worried about all their clothes and this and that, what am I going to do? And I, yeah. Well, not, you can't do anything. You can't take it with you. No, no. And the worst part, I believe in spiritism. spiritism. When you die, you lose all your sexual organs. You, you're not boy or girl Ooh. anymore. We're going to. <laughs> no, very... we're, we're going to be unisex on the other side. So. You, we are. Yes, yeah, we are. Unfortunately, you know, we, we can appear like a girl or a boy, but we don't have the parts anymore. We don't eat anymore. Okay. Well, thank you, David. For coming. <laughs> now, now I got you scared. Well, <coughs> it's true. I don't so, know when I'm going to come back. That's a. I don't want to come back to this planet. I said, maybe another. They said this is one of the hardest planets to incarnate. Well, I'm going to tell you. True. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because. If you don't work and you don't have things together, um, you're going to end up on the streets with nothing. Oh yes. Oh, so wow. you have to work. You have to keep yourself in order. You have to be nice to have to be nice to other people. And when I say you have to be nice to other people, I mean it. You, you mean have, it. I mean it. You've got to be nice to other people. Let's get all this anger out. Get rid of it all. Yeah. And let's just get everybody, you know, a little happier, a little more content to each I other. Mean, it's also to have, like I said, I was raised with class and good manners, and that's gone nowadays. But not with you, it's not. not you with me. still maintain no, it. No, I maintain it, but, but, but the thing is, I'd like to attract somebody 
who has class and good manners, so at least we can blend because Together. otherwise what happens is I don't think it's me. We, we, no, 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 <laughs> no, you, no you have class and good manners. Sure you do. <laughs> well, well, we better we better have class and good manners. David, how can anybody reach you? Oh, they can reach me well, through you. Other, otherwise, my email is Cuban. It's easy to remember. Cuban legend. Cuban at, legend at cox dot net. Cox dot net. Absolutely amazing. I will have you back on my show again. Oh, I hope so. What we all will do, I'll get my uh, producer and we'll come up and see your house. And yeah, well, they, yeah. And we'll come up one day and I, we'll, we'll, we'll check you out. I, I think you love it. I think we love it. Thank you so Thank much you so for much. watching Vegas. God bless. Bye -bye. And uh, it was quite a, quite a challenge, this one, I must say. It's a challenge. It, it's, it's been a long time. And when I suddenly realized what David was sitting next to me, I said, Oh, you. Finally. At last. He's I not said, oh, oh, David, David he's David horrible. But he's no, not. No, no, he's, he's lovely. No, he's I lovely. just have to be pushy because yeah, if I don't yes. push myself, when the hell's going no, to push No one's going to push you. That's right. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to go to YouTube and uh, become a member, subscribe, and join, and do all the above. Go to Facebook, go to all the, all the social medias. And don't forget to come to the... Uh, Mariposa, um, it's a Mexican cuisine here. Cuisine it's on cocktails. Yes, and Decatur, cocktails, yeah, on it's Decatur. Decatur and Sahara. Come down here, it's absolutely fabulous. We'll be right back with our next guest. And you take care out there, okay? Don't be jealous because I got David. Mm -hmm.